Super Polymerization. The card that single-handedly can win the Despia Mirror match. So we start with Patchwork just to bait out the Ash. They don't use it. That's okay. You shouldn't Ash Patchwork. I don't I don't think you should ever Ash Patchwork. Kit, add Brandon Fusion, put back one of the polys. We're gonna Brandon Fusion. Or we're going to summon Lu Lubelion by sending Tragedy and Fallen of Albaz. Lubelion is going to discard that Edge of Chain. And then we're going to activate Tragedy as Chain Link 2. This plays around Ghost Bell. I know Ghost Bell isn't being played yet. But the two best decks in the game is Despia and Prank Kids. So people should be playing Ghost Bell. People will be playing Ghost Bell very soon. Lubelion is going to send itself back and the Albaz from the grave to summon out Mirror Jade. And then we're going to go ahead and activate our Edge of Chain. Searching us another patchwork. Now we have all of the grounds to do the cool big play. So Mirror Jade's gonna go ahead and send Albion to banish our kit. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna activate polymerization, sending our ad lib and our Mirror Jade on the field to the graveyard to summon out the Dragostapelia. Dragostapelia is now gonna hit board. We have a negate now, which is pretty good. Ad libitum is gonna special summon back the Mirror Jade, and then Mirror Jade is reset because it is a new copy of a, of a new card. We're gonna set this droplet. And then in the end phase, Albion is going to go ahead and set Brandon Red from our deck. Now, to recap what we have, we have Dragos to play, which is an on-field negate and level modulation, which sometimes comes up. We have Mirror Jade, which is a quick effect non-targeting Banch, which is very good. I said Banch. I don't know why. And then we have Brandon Red. This card is insane. It's going to turn into a Guardian Chimera. It may also, if we want to, just turn into uh, add back the Ad Libitum and use our mirror jade to summon uh probably like a masquerade or something and then the ad libitum will summon back the mirror jade so if we don't feel like using this maxi from our hand or the dragons to play and the mirror jade for for a guardian chimera then that's perfectly fine we can just reset a mirror jade and have two banishes with the mirror jade which would also be very strong he starts off with a lightning storm which is going to destroy our back row yeah so i mean yeah he then super polys uh which is just like okay cool you got me I didn't activate this Brandon Red. Now I could have. I could have. I could have made him a uh, Masquerade with the Ad Libitum in the Mirror Jade. Uh, and then the Ad Libitum ad summoned back the Mirror Jade. So, you know, why didn't I do it? Now, in hindsight, looking back at it, I don't I don't know know completely why I didn't do it. Oh, wait, no. I, I get Super Poly. Why would I? <laughs> it's Super Poly. It's Super Poly, idiot. It's Super Poly, idiot. All right, we have Starving Venom. Normal Summon Squaw. Summon back Mirror Jade. We have Max C, but I think I just die. Is this lethal? Cool. <laughs> cool. Summon my Mirror Jade. And yeah. It, oh right. <laughs> oh right. I remember now. I remember what this what this replay does. He Union carries the Buster guy to my Buster locks me with my own Mirror Jade. And I'm like, okay, well you got me. So yeah, that's that's that replay. I think I just scooped. Yeah, I did. So yeah, Super Poly. That's that's really what I wanted to get the point across with this Super Poly. I know that the deck is insanely expensive already. You already have three Branded Fusion, two 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 Mirror Jade, two Lubelion, two Albion, two Masquerade, any amount of Mercurier's Branded Loss. I know, I know. The whole deck's really ultra rare expensive. I know. Konami, you really <laughs> you really wanted to make Branded expensive, but Super Poly is absurd. I mean, literally, it just wins the game. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Super Poly's broken. Super Poly's insane. All right, this hand looks a little bit more full. Um, you know, we got Brandon Fusion off, off Rip and Brandon Red. And the guys that I'm probably going to send off the Brandon Fusion. But it's a, it's a bit awkward of a hand, but it has Brandon Fusion. So as long as this does not get ashed, we're perfectly good. Now, if this does get ashed, well, I pass. It got Maxi, which is better. <laughs> That's a lot better. Lubelion, you know, you have to summon an additional, so you're going to start with your opponent with seven cards if you want to go up to Mirror Jade. But I already have Brandon Reds uh, in hand, so we can set up a really solid, you know, double Mirror Jade potential or the Guardian Chimera on my opponent's turn. So there's a lot of things that we could do here with only giving my opponent one max C draw, uh, which is on four or like net one gain. So he's going to start with seven cards, which is a lot, like way too many. Now, I do go ahead and activate the Brandon Red here, add back the Tragedy, and I think I just summoned Masquerade uh, with, like, that and the Fallen of Albaz in my hand. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no, I, I do just go for the Dragos Tepelia. Fair enough. So, we go Dragos Tepelia, I, I believe. Yeah. And then the Ad Libitum is going to summon back the Mirror Jade. So, 
the feather duster was good uh, but it did just like put my board back to regular without the the brand in red which was is very strong so you know that's good he does have super poly again okay this is the super poly episode it's the super poly episode uh yeah he super polys my board again um so i played right into that unfortunately he does go branded opening he doesn't kill me though hey, he's gonna summon a masquerade he's gonna do a lot of damage and put me under masquerade so that's pretty rough uh you know it's not gonna be easy to get through that he also has brandon red but he doesn't know i think i feel like he doesn't know that it can't attack directly here because it yeah he makes a guardian chimera oh he thinks it's game he thinks it's game the guy can't attack directly remember that remember that remember that the guy can't attack directly all right so we go summon fallen of Albaz, discard the edge of chain we're gonna use his pokemon pokemon we're gonna use his guy and my guy for a mirror jade and then we're gonna go ahead and edge him chain, add the Fright for uh, Patchwork. Branded Fusion to get Lubelion, and uh, Lubelion's gonna be able to pitch. Oh, we're gonna get Albion. Because now we have like Grave, enough Grave for Snow to be insane. So it's just like a free interruption, makes sense. And then Albion's actually able to banish a guy from the Grave, both guys from the Grave. So we get to keep Albion. And Masquerade is, I mean, it's game. Like what's this guy set? You know, probably Brandon Red. It was a little awkward when he summoned Guardian Chimera because he just didn't know the interaction with, you know, Brandon Red not being able to attack directly. So I feel like I probably would have lost that game to the Super Poly still. Or just like in general, I think I would have lost that game. But hey, whatever, you know, we take those. This was the build that I was playing for those two replays. I am missing a few things. I'm missing the Mercurier package. I would like to just play one Mercurier in this build uh, as it is because we are playing Branded Lost which can search Mercurier right now. It can only search Kit, uh, but or, or Fallen of Albaz. But either way, it's still worth playing, in my opinion. I think it's really good, and it turns off Ghost Bell a lot of the time, which is the impactful part. Anyway, I'm missing the Mercurier package. I'm missing Mercurier in general. I'm also missing the Super Polys. I'd love to play all those cards, but uh, yeah, for now, this build is really good. I played about 30 games yesterday. I went about 25-5. So, I mean, that's a pretty good record, so... Yeah, it's, it's really strong. I think this deck's incredible. Probably the best deck currently, but Prank is also really, really good. And a lot of other decks can, you know, compete very, very efficiently. So not just the best deck, but I think this deck is incredibly strong. The only thing that kind of sucks is how impactful the Super Poly is, but it's okay. If you can get past that, then this deck is really fun. The Mirror Match can be really annoying, though, because Super Poly. But... Even uh, like mirror matches without Super Poly are really back and forth and really long and really fun. So it's just a good format, I think. I think Branded Despia brought a lot to the to the table this time. Anyway, that's it for the Super Poly episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, you know, I have a TCG affiliate link in the description down below. You just click, shop, check out, and it immediately, or, you know, it, it supports the channel directly. So I would appreciate it a lot. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye.